I am Chaitali, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I am going to show you how to use an AWS Lambda function to copy files from one Amazon Simple Storage service bucket to another. Let's get started. Create the source and destination Amazon S3 buckets. First, let's create the source and destination Amazon S3 buckets. You can skip this step if you have already created the S3 buckets for this file transfer. Note that the AWS Lambda function and the source Amazon S3 bucket must be in the same region for this application. Let's create the source bucket. To get started, first log into your Amazon Management Console and then navigate to Amazon S3 Console. S3 buckets are regional, so you must select the correct region for this bucket from the top right drop down list from the console. Select the Create Bucket option. Enter a name for your S3 bucket. Note that this name must be universally unique. Let's keep the default values for all other fields. Now, scroll down and choose Create Bucket. We will repeat the same steps to create the destination bucket. Create the Lambda function. Next, let's create a Lambda function to copy the files from one S3 bucket to other. Let's navigate to AWS Lambda console. Let's create the Lambda function. For this, you can just select Create a Function button here. There are several options to create a Lambda function, such as Author from scratch, Use a blueprint and container image. Let's select Author from scratch option. Enter a name for this Lambda function. The Lambda service offers multiple runtimes and for this demonstration, we will be using Python 3.11. Then, under Change Default Execution Role, select Create a new role with basic permissions. Lambda then creates an execution role with permissions to upload logs to Amazon CloudWatch Logs. Now, to create the Lambda function, choose Create Function. After the Lambda function is created, you can view the newly created Lambda function on your screen. Let's write the script to copy the files from the source bucket to the destination bucket. I have a script ready for this application. You can find this script in the Knowledge Center article linked in the video description. Choose the Code tab, paste the script from the article into the Code Editor and choose Deploy. You might need to wait a bit depending on the script. When the Lambda function is deployed, you will see successfully updated the function message on the top of your screen. The script fetches the source bucket name from the event object received by the Lambda function. You can store the destination bucket name as an environment variable. So every time you invoke this Lambda function, the Lambda runtime fetches the destination bucket name from the environment variable. To set the environment variable, Let's navigate to the Configuration tab of this Lambda function. Then, select Environment Variable from the left panel. Next, choose Edit and then choose Add Environment Variable. Use Destination Bucket for the key, paste the Destination S3 bucket name under the value and then choose Save. Note that the Environment Variable is specific to each Lambda version. Create an Amazon S3 trigger for the Lambda function. Some services can invoke a Lambda function for each new event. This automatic invocation is called a trigger. In this tutorial, we will use S3 event to invoke or trigger a Lambda function. Let's add this S3 trigger. First, select the Add Trigger option from the Function Overview section of the Lambda function. From the Trigger Configuration drop-down list, Select S3. Next, enter the source bucket name. For the event types, select All Object Create Events or you can select the events that you want to invoke this Lambda function for. You can add the prefix and suffix if you want to invoke this Lambda function on the basis of specific events associated with the prefix or suffix available in the S3 bucket. Finally, let's select the Acknowledgement and choose Add. 
provide IAM permissions for the lambda functions execution role. The lambda functions execution role must have additional permissions to copy objects from one S3 bucket to another. To do this, let's navigate to the configurations tab and then select permissions section available in the left panel. Choose the role name. This action takes you to the AWS identity and access management role page. Select add permissions from the permissions tab. Select create inline policy and then under specify permissions, select JSON. I already have an inline policy for this setup. These permissions allow the Lambda function execution role to perform the get object operation on the source S3 bucket and the put object operation on the destination S3 bucket. The policy used here is available in the Knowledge Center article linked in the video description. Copy the policy from the article and then paste the policy in the policy editor. In the policy, replace destination S3 bucket with your S3 destination bucket and source S3 bucket with your S3 source bucket. Replace slash asterisk at the end of the resource Amazon resource name with the required prefix value for your environment to limit permissions. As a best practice, you should grant least privilege permissions to perform a task. If any objects have any object tags, the execution rule must have S3 get object tagging and S3 put object tagging permissions. You must have S3 get object tagging permission for the source object in the source bucket and S3 put object tagging permission for objects in the destination bucket. Select next, enter the policy name and then select create policy. Testing the setup. Let's test this setup by uploading an object to the source S3 bucket. Navigate to the source S3 bucket and choose the upload button. To add files, drop the files to the S3 bucket. You can also select the add files. Select upload. You might have to wait for a bit of time depending on the size of the file. Now navigate to the destination S3 bucket to verify the file was copied to this bucket. We can see that the file was copied successfully. So now you know how to use an AWS Lambda function to copy files from one Amazon S3 bucket to another. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.